In this video, I'll show you how to multitask using your iPad 6th generation using what they call Stage Manager. So let's get started. First of all, to enable Stage Manager and be able to do what I'll show you next, you first need to drag down from the top right corner and you see this icon here, it's three little dots with a rectangle. You need to press on it like that. This will enable what they call stage manager if it's in blue like it is right now. We can then exit this small window and now let's open our first app. I'll open the app store. Once you open the app, you're going to see the app taking a portion of the screen. On the lower side, you're going to have a bar with all your apps that are open and that you use most often. And on the right and on the left side, you're going to have different group of apps. What if you want to have multiple windows on the same screen? Well, first of all, we can resize the one you see simply by dragging this small corner with a um, black mark over here. So if I drag it, I can make it smaller, bigger, longer, the way you want. Then we can move this app on the screen simply by um, keeping it press on the top part of the app like this and dragging it where we want. You can even put it all the way here. The app groups that you saw there could be revealed simply by sliding from the left side towards the center of the screen. So in my case, let's say I want to put it over here. Next, open the second app you want to multitask with. Let's say calendar, I'll open my calendar app. And now the calendar app is open. I can resize it. Okay. The way I want. Now, what if you want to add multiple apps on the same screen, right? That's the point of multitasking. Well, you see there's three dots over here on the app, tap on it, select, add another window. And now you can add any other window that are open. I'll add the app store. Now we have both of them. And again, you can resize them. Let's add another window. I'll click again on the three dots, add another window and select Safari this time. If the app you want to add is not over here or over there, you can click right over here on the lower uh, right side. And you're going to have the app library showing up. And these are all the apps that are installed on your iPad. You can even go over here and try to search for it. Now we have three uh, windows open on the same screen. Again, if I tap the three dots, add another window, we can even add a fourth one. I'll add photos. Obviously you can use them all at the same time. You see now this is a group of apps. If we open another app, let's say music here, it will open it in a new group. Let me resize this. And you see, these are the apps that were open in the previous group, the one we uh, just did. Music is not in one of these. It's in a new group. So if I click here on this older group, I can make them all appear. And let's say I want to go back to my music group while well, I press this and the music app is opening. And if there were other apps, they will all appear over here. You can also drag any apps that are open on the left side into this new group. I'll keep a press like this and drag it right over here. And here we go. Both apps are now open on the same uh, page. You see? So now we have two groups. We have music and maps. And if I press here, we have the other ones. And you can have multiple groups like this on the side. If you want to take one app and exchange it, so put it in another group, let's say in this one, simply drag the Safari app from this group on the side here into this new one. And now it's over here. At any moment, you can view the app in full screen if it's not enough because it's too small like that. Press the three dots, enter full screen. And now the app will be uh, displayed um, on the display fully. If you want to close down any apps, press the three dots and select close. The app will disappear. So this way you can have multiple apps open side by side and switch between them very easily. 
I hope this was useful, if so please leave a like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.